Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to look at some alternative ways of filtering deeds. So here you will see what we have built on the ultimate guide to comparing dates in Tableau. And I'm going to go through how we can filter our dates. So let's start with the first basic ones. So we have the basic way of filtering date, which is to drag it into the filter. And we can filter it by all these different options over here. And you should be familiar on how to filter all this. So we have a range of date. We can select the range we want to filter by. We can select relative date based on relative from the last three months. Okay. And we also can say things like it is to filter based on the previous month and so on. So these are the different ways we can filter a relative date. We can also filter by the year itself or particular month we want to look at and so on. So what am I going to go through here is some alternative ways of how we can filter. Alright, let's first start off with what we have built in our ultimate guide video, which is we have used this parameter called the report date. I'm going to demonstrate how this report date can be used on this year to date number over here. If you want to know how to calculate the year to date you can check out the ultimate guide video which should pop up over here or maybe it's here or maybe it's here so what we're going to do is we want to bring in the parameter here first so we're going to look at the report date you will see that this number will change based on the report date i've selected let's say now i'm going to select say another date say 30th 2019 you will see that this year-to-date number has changed. And you can see in our data, we actually have 2017 to 2020 data. So if we are going to change this to a 2020 number, we will see that this is the year-to-date for 2020 up to 30th April. So this is basically how we can use a parameter to filter our value over here. Now, I want to bring back to this entire dashboard over here. Let's say I also want this date to filter on the rest of this over here. So here we can see it's actually comparing the year-on-year -year comparison. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to ignore that this chart might not be very useful. I just want to demonstrate the function of how we can filter the dates. So let's go to this chart over here. And now, we have this report date, okay? Previously, we have seen how we can use the order date and filter the range. So when we do this, what happens is that we get a filter that gives us a slicer over here that allows us to select the range of data we want to change. But now, we want to be able to control with our parameter over here. So an alternative way of how we can control a start and end date is to create another parameter and let's call this the start date okay and here I want to rename this as the end date okay so what we're going to do next is that we want to create a calculation based on the start and end date of these two parameters. So now let's create a calculation. We are going to call this a date filter. So very simple, we just have to put in the condition of order date has to be more than or equals to the start date and the order date has to be less than or equals to the end date. So this will replicate the date range filter that we saw earlier on. Now we can use these two parameters to determine our range of date filter. So of course you will see blank, so let's change this to say 1st of January. Now we have some data over here. So let's go to December. Alright, so now let's go back to our dashboard. You will see that this is filtered based on the two parameters that we have, which is the start date and the end date over here. So now we can see that this chart is filtered based on the start and the end date over here. And you also see that this year to date also has been updated to 
the 31st December of 2020, which is the end date that we have renamed over here. Let's also do the same for this table over here. Let's add this date filter into this table over here. And you will see that this start and end date will affect this date filter over here. And you will notice that it actually missing one Q1 over here. So what happens is that because we have built some logic to hide the first column, so you can refer to the ultimate guide video again to see what we have been trying to build here. So here we are looking at the percentage change comparison for the next period. So to keep this simple, I'm going to remove all the logic we have built previously. And I just want to show the profit amount for the period. So now let's go back to our chart over here. So we have seen how we can now use this end date to actually filter our chart. So if let's say we choose October, you'll see our data is filtered up to October. Let's say we choose September, you will see that this only show up to Q3. And you also notice that this year to date number has been changing based on this end date that I have selected. However, it is not affected by the start date over here. And this is exactly what we want because a year to date is definition is based on the 1st January to whatever date it is as of the end date. Now that we have seen how we can use parameter to filter our date, the next thing I want to show is how we can filter dates by selecting data points on the chart. So the way we are going to do that is to add a dashboard action. So we are going to go to the action over here and we're going to add a filter action. So we're going to select on this chart here and it's going to filter this table which is called the month on month. And we're going to select on select and click on OK. So now let's see what happens. So I'm going to select say Q4, so which is October to December. You'll see that the table only shows Q4. If I select here, we have only Q1. This is how we can use the chart to actually select data points to filter on the table. We can also maybe make this look better by adding some highlighting action. So what we want to do is maybe something like this. So let's say we're going to do this and let's see how this looks. So I'm going to select this. So it will highlight what I have selected. So yeah, there we have some of the alternative ways of how we can filter dates in Tableau. If you like this, do remember to like, share and subscribe to support this channel.